Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for choosing this channel. Now, a few months ago, the head of state made a decision on those who are applying job abroad that under his government administration, he have secured 200,000 job vacancies across uh, the overseas country. That is in Germany, in Ukraine, in Geneva, US, Canada, whatever the places they are. But yesterday, in Ethiopia, he made a U-turn. And this is what the head of state said. Ruto proposed new reform to prevent Africans from seeking jobs in other continents. What might be the secret behind this? And it is so, for you to believe it much, and for you not to say I'm lying, let's listen to this clip. Maintains. Nani watu wa bidi, nani watu wa naelewa, nani watu wa nidhamu. Wengi wametuuliza tunaitaji vijana wa Kenya watusaidie katika digital jobs. We unafanya kazi hapa Bomet lakini unafanya kazi kampuni iko Marekani ama iko Ujerumani ama iko Ulaya ama iko mahali ngine. Na inahitaji vile watu watashirikiana. Nimekuwa Saudi Arabia last week. Huyu waziri wangu amekuwa pale kwa balozi wa eh, Saudi Arabia kwa sababu kuna vile tulikubaliana. Rais wa Ujerumani alikuwa Kenya karibu miezi tatu ine iliyopita leo usiku mimi naenda Ujerumani kwa sababu alituahidi ya kwamba tutapata nafasi ya ajira watu 1200 lazima niende nipange hiyo kazi rais wa kule eh, Ufaransa vile vile kuna vile tumekubaliana viongozi wa sehemu mbalimbali mimi nikitoka Kenya, mimi siendi kazi ya utalii. Mimi naenda kazi ya wananchi wa Kenya. I don't know what is really really happening to our president. As I normally say that words are always used like a fossil of civilization. Whatever you say is always being recorded for our future use. Likewise to whatever I'm now giving out to you on this platform some people always record it to be an evidence for them to get out from the case now those are by the way our main concern here is that what might be Ruto's U-turn urging Africans not to apply job across the other continent before I do that if this might be your first time watching me as on Kenya TV YouTube channel I request you just take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe, watch the videos, like, share and give us your opinion. And to the members, I want to appreciate you so much for the support you always offer to this channel because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as of now. Thank you very much and continue watching our videos and if you are the first sub you are also first subscriber today at zion kenya tv youtube channel i welcome you for more political updates to our youtube platform let's proceed president ruto has been telling kenyans how many jobs he has negotiated negotiated abroad germany gulf uh, countries etc and this is not the first time we are hearing this is saying and according to that uh, a clip i've just displayed you are uh, you have heard him mentioning how he have plans meeting with in france meeting with canada meeting with us meeting with germany meeting with uh, i don't want to mention all of them our main concern here is that what is ruto's u-turn as he proposed new reform to prevent Africans from seeking jobs in other continents. Yet, he had agreed 
and made a proposal and is signed under its authority and its administration that this deal should be done. I mean, there is also exposure we are seeing from uh, when you see Kenyans or Africans going outside the European countries to seek for jobs. This is bringing a close international relationship and if it is so, it creates also intermarriages, it creates also uh, exposure among our children and uh, when they send us dollars, uh, it boosts our economy and also not only in Kenya, be it in Ghana, be it in Nigeria, be it, be it in Addis Ababa, I mean uh, in Africa all. So this movement is very essential and uh, I can also propose it 100% because I know the benefit of those who are working abroad. If you are brain, you can expand and grow fully uh, to your life. You won't suffer after so many years you have worked abroad and come back because you will obviously invest your country and also interact with the people i think that is what we can say you borrow culture you bring them you also take your brain there you invest the use also you you take their brain exchange of brains eh? that is what i mean but now what is president trying now to say to make it worst he delivered his message in ethiopia when he had several presidents meeting at the conference and what was his main aim number one i think is lying for other leaders so that kenyans can get these jobs and send him money i mean more money <clears throat> again i think he's saying this to confuse other leaders in order to allow kenyans to go millions of kenyans to go abroad to work and send him dollars. That is w what president is trying to tell uh, his colleagues. But he don't understand that whatever you are saying, one day you will be embarrassed in public. Look at this now. He said it a few months ago, as I am just exposed it. And just recently, in Ethiopia, he have embarrassed Kenyan because I know very well the European are also political leaders or uh, leaders they also follow whatever other president are saying across the Africa continent and if they will come across William Samuel Ruto's clip on the job vacancies he said then why making U-turn and telling other leaders from Africa that it's not the best time for you to uh, encourage your people to apply job abroad. This discouragement is not uh, good at all because so many people eager to seek money across the world. Dunia iliumbwa na mungu ata iwe US ata iwe Britain Kama mungu alikupangia utaenda, utaenda. Yeye kama rais, ange sema maneno kama ayo, he had done his part by creating job vacancies under his administration. Yeye saa hii, ange concentrate, aseme, enyewe watu wangu wako inje. Njia gani naweza tumia kutengeneza good relationship with my people. And if it is so, our watu, he encourage them, watume dollars, our economy yende juu ikuwe vizuri wa invest in Kenya wafanye kazi wa invest in Kenya I think that is the motive move he can do as the president and ensure that things are safe si mambo ya kuenda Ethiopia na kudiskare ni mutu you know our president have a good vision for our country but I still don't understand whoever is driving him behind I don't know if he's the one making such kind of decision. I don't know if there's somebody 
cheating him because this move is a very strong U-turn and it might create a split to him and the people from European countries because our heart wanataka wafanyi kazi si ni ukweli na ndio maana tuko na agencies some are scam some are legit but the government should also ensure they work smart with the legit, the legit agencies to allow Kenyans waenda wafanye kazi nje hata yeye mtoto yake anaweza fanya kazi nje hata mtoto wa governor hata mwenye anatoka Nigeria afanye kazi nje that relationship takes us to the next level because we interact and we come out with other products to rebuild our economy ladies and gentlemen what can you say on this move this marks the end of our analysis as i am eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below bye bye as you hope to meet on another analysis may you have a blessed day